Hey guys, welcome to SP.NET MVC5 part 9. I'm Ripon Dotto. Today I'm gonna discuss about link with SP.NET MVC5. Link means language integrated query. So let's get started. First of all, I want to take a new project and I want to give the project name link with ASP.NET MVC5. Okay. Then again, click OK. Creating project link with ASP.NET MVC5. Alright, so first of all, I want to take a model. So, right click on the model, click the class, let's say product. So, in the product class, I want to take some property ID. This is product ID string name that means product name product integer let's say quantity decimal price and let's say another property date and time which is we can say entry date all right so we can set ids key so what we need to do we need to right click on key resolve using system dot component model dot data annotation so entity framework will understand that id is our primary key or by default entity framework will take id as primary key all right or you can set some annotation required uh, display name or whatever you want all right i have another tutorial on data annotation you can watch that tutorial so you will be cleared about data annotation so all right so now what we have to do is we need to do we need to create another folder let's say context in a context i want to take a class let's say product context all right so it is inherited the base class of entity framework right click resolve using dot using system dot data dot entity all right so here we have, to, we have to take another property which is db set in the db set our type is product and property name let's say products so right click on the product resolve all right we have to add models namespace now what you need to do is we need to configure so we have to keep this class name product context because we wanna use this as connection string name data source in my case my database server is in my own computer which is Ripon and initial catalog let's say um, product inventory sounds good all right so what we have to do is we have to create a controller let's say read write action product then it will create 
read I mean index you can see details create edit delete etc first of all I need to take the product context as DB and I need to resolve the issue all right so first of all what I need to do is I need to in the index action I have to take all the product from database products to list then I have to pass the products to view so as you can see now what we have to do is we have to create the view so add index I mean add view name index we are gonna use list template before going to use I mean we are going to create view first of all we have to build the project alright then go to the add view view name index list product product context then MBC will create an index view under product controller I mean in the view under product folder alright so this is our index view so in the index view we passed the list of products now I need to add another view which is create I'm gonna use create template model is product data context is product context all right so our create view is created now what we need to do is we need to add some code on create action I mean in the first HTTP first create action so it will get the product from view so resolve the issue All right so what we need to do is we need to add the product to the database then we need to save the changes otherwise we can pass the model to the view again if there is any error all right so now let's see what's happening run the project so we have to go to the product controller then as you can see we can create the product product let's say apple quantity 10 price let's say five dollar entry date um, let's say one five 2014 then create some orange 22 price 7 entry date let's say 15 I mean 5 15 2014 let's say another product jackfruit which is 17 
quantity is 17 price let's say 11 entry date 5 16 2014 all right or okay it's enough for test the project so now we can create our product now I want to add some other menu which is order by price or order by entry date or order by name so in this case we are gonna use link so what we have to do is we have to add some other action so in this case I'm going to use let's say show all oops yep we can say show all then this is for order by name this is controller name and yep, order by price so order by price so what we need to do is we need to create show all show all basically our index index view we need to create order by name public action result order by name return the view so bar products equal from uh, p in db dot products order by p dot name we can say ascending in ascending order then select p this is you know link query from p in db dot products that means p from products where p dot name i mean name should be in ascending order select p so in this case we will have all the products in ascending order name Na i mean order by name then what we need to do is we need to send the products to the view then click i mean create the view order by name it will list it all the products in ascending order by name product class product context all right now you can see we have created our order by name view so we need to add the other action or other menu so now run the project oops what happened we need to run the project again all right now as you can see we have listed all the products in index view 
now I want to show order by name so order by name yep you can see apple jackfruit orange show all it is apple orange and jackfruit now I need to create another uh, action for order by price so what we need to do is we need to stop the project then go to the product controller then create another action result which is order by price so in this case products equal from p in db dot products order by p dot price ascending or if you need to order in descending you can use descending also select p then return to the view then right click add view list template product and add alright now you can run the project or you can simply start without debugging which is control F5 so refresh the page alright so as you can see this is index order by name apple jackfruit orange order by price so it will be 5 7 11 that means apple orange jackfruit yes oops because I forgot to add the link so link is basically over here Control F5 again. Then, as you can see, order by price, order by name, show all. So, so in this case, I used link query. So, this is basically link query language integrated query, and this is basically linked. To database so um, one thing I like to um, tell you that link can be used in many situations like link to XML link to objects link to embedded you know or edu.net link to SQL link to dataset link to entities so I have a plan to make all the link related queries and tutorial so I'll be uploaded link tutorial in this channel so you can if you are interested to learn link you can subscribe this channel and keep in touch thank you very much for watching this tutorial if you like this tutorial don't forget to subscribe this channel if you have any difficulty or any problem you can comment in the comment box so see you soon till then bye